Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to install RabbitMQ, a message broker for C++ on Linux environment. RabbitMQ is an open source software. It's known as a message broker where define a queue that allows the applications to connect the queue to exchange message. And the message can be include any kind of information. It can be complex object data or simple text message. In order to use RabbitMQ, we have to install this. And to install RabbitQ on Linux environment, it can be found from the RabbitQ website. Here, how to install latest RabbitQ on Debian Linux with apt repository. So there's two options available for installing modern RabbitQ on Debian and Ubiton Linux. Option one, using apt repository. So we are going to use an apt repository to install RabbitQ on our Debian Linux environment. Here is our Debian Linux environment. To use apt, it has to be logged in as a super user. And to install RabbitQ on Debian Linux, it's going to be three steps. First, use sudo apt update. So this command, let's go to our super user and run this apt update. The second step is installing Erlang package. And this is command for installing Erlang package. So we try to run this. Because we have already installed, this is not required. But the first time, there will be installed all these packages. And the third step is to install RabbitMQ server. The command is using sudo apt-get install RabbitMQ server minus y minus minus fix missing. The fix missing option allow you to fix some missing package. So it goes to our super user. We just run this. So now we have installed RabbitMQ server on our Linux. After we install, we can use command service RabbitMQ server start, stop, and start to starting, stop, and checking status of our server. I just write a simple shell script. So we run this. We can get the option status. You can see our server is running. So we can stop this. So now the server stopped. We can check our status again. You can see our server is dead inactive. So we restart again. Check status again. You can see we are running. RabbitMQ, after installed, there's a couple of commands for managing this server. One command is called RabbitMQCTL, and another is called RabbitMQAdmin. So first we can use RabbitMQCTL to check our node. This is the command. So you can see after you install our server, healthy check passed. And we can also check cluster status. And the, by default, RabbitQ after you install, the cluster name called rabbit at host name. And we also can check vhost. So by default, there's the only root. And we can check users. We can use RabbitMQ admin list users. By default, it will be create user called guest, and the password will be guest. So let's check the help configure. So we have by default, and the create user called guest, password guest, and connect to vhost a root. This RabbitMQ server can be used by many virtual hosts or many users. In this demo, we first create a user. We just use the command RabbitMQCTL. We can add a user, user called test, and the password is called test. We can also add a virtual host. 
we just create a virtual host called my vhost. Now we can list the vhost, and as you can see, we have our vhost. After we add a user, we can set up the tag of user. We can use this command, set our user test tag as administrator. And we can set a permission of a user. Our user test will be only access my vhost. Now we can check our user. So we add our user to the test. And we can check the permission of our user. So our test user can access the my vhost. And any kind of message can be write, can be read. And this is the permission. But in order to be able to write in C++ application for RabbitMQ, we have to install the library. So we have to download and install the client library. C++ library for RabbitMQ client can be found on the internet. And here is the link. And here we go to the RabbitMQ C client. And it goes to the latest version, latest stable version. And the version has V0110. And here has two available. One is the zip file, one is the tar.gz file. Since we install this on Linux, so I download this source code. It's called .tar.gz file. Here is we download our .tar.gz file. And first, we have to enter CF. And after we entered, we tracked all this file in this directory. We go to this directory, and we have to compile this. In order to compile, we make a directory called a build. So we cd build, and because the C make a list file under the top other directory, and so we're going to run C make dot dot. After finished, you can see under this directory, they created a making file and some other files. So the, after that, we have to do is to compile it and we're using the make. After successfully make, we have to go to the super user to the make install. And this make install will be copy compiled the library into the root library directory, which is the user local live directory and head file and the user local include directories. Because we have reinstalled, so we skip these three steps. We just go to this directory to check our installation. First, we check our header files. So you can see Oh, this is the header file we have been installed under this user local included directories. And we go to the library directory. You can see we have installed RabbitMQ SO files. And we can check our file. We use the LDD dependency of our library. And everything looks great. After we install the C library, we have to install a C++ library called apqmqcpp. And here there's the instruction how to download and install this. So I just simply download and extract the file. So we have a source code .cpp file. We have also the header file. We also have make files. So we just simply type make to compile this package and we can generate a two library. One is called libraryMQPCPP.so and it's .sa file. And after that, we have to go to super user, run the make install. This is a make file. If you have a special installation requirement, you can make an adjustment to this. So this is a special make install where we copy the library to library directories. So let's go to that directory. So library code is amqpcpp.so. Now we are ready to write a RabbitMQ applications. So we created two programs. One is called mypublish.cpp and another called my underscore get.cpp. 
Here is uh, my publish.cpp usage will be my publish and we have two parameters called exchange second queue. So we publish a message to this exchange and this queue. So what is the exchange and the queue? So rabbit MQ exchange can be found explanation here. So this is a standard message flow. First producer publish message to an exchange. The exchange receives the message and responsible for routing the message. So we have to publish our message to the exchange. And then they building the app between the queue and the exchange. There's a key between the queue and the exchange to decide which message route into which queue. It can be routed into one queue, can be routed into many queues. So the messages stay in the queue until it's handled by consumer. The exchange has a few types. Direct type, exchange, direct, send to queue. And we can also have a topic exchange, like agreement, change to Q1, contract in the Q2, and invoice Q3, that's the topic. And also we can have the fallout exchange. This exchange, it means all the message will be sent to the, all the queues. In this short video, we are going to make a very simple example to publish a message sent to queue. So we create a name, exchange, and the queue name, which from argument two. Because it's a demo, we just hard code it. We created a user called a test and the password test on the local host and the power number. And we created the vhost, it's called my vhost. Here we have our test as user. We have our virtual host called my vhost. And we just using program, create a queue, send a message to my vhost. And then what we do, first we have to create a change, which is give the name from command line. We call it ex. And because we got a message, we just send to every queue and we set up type of exchange. And we create a queue, which queue name we get from the command line. And we binding this queue name to exchange with some key. But in this case, we don't put any queue. Any message in this queue can have header information and the body information. There's a two type of deliver model. One is a persistent and another is no persistent. So we just use the persistent deliver model. And at the type, we can say the content type is the text text. Encoding is using UTF-8. We can also set another feature in the message header. And we make a loop. We get from the terminal, the message body, which message we want to send and then we publish the message to the queue that exchange where we created. We create an exchange here, we publish a message to exchange. So this is the publish. For the receiving, we got my gate.cpp. We did a hard coding for you know, test the test the local host, port number 5672, and the my vhost and the queue which we got from a command line. We created the queue called the my queue name and we declare the queue. Then we make a loop just using the queue get message method to get our message. And our message can have the header content and the header encoding and we can have a message body. Finish all the message, get out. For the making and the compiling, we have to use our library, RabbitMQ and the MQP CPP. This is a C library. This is a build on top is a RabbitMQ library. It's a C++ library. So we just save this. We compile my publisher and the my game. Now we got it compiled. So first, we try to publish a message. The usage is exchange. I just call the my exchange and the queue. I just call the my queue. So now we want to input a message. I just get this is the Hui test rapid queue. Hello message. Our message be sent. So now let's go to our server to check. We can use the command rabbit mq ctr list queues under my vhost. You can see we create a queue 
called my queue. We have one message in our queue. Now let's go back to there. We send another message. This is the Hui test rapid queue hello world message. So now let's go back to our server to check our queue. You can see we have two messages in our queue. The messages stay in the queue until we consumer get them. So we use the my guide to read a message from the queue. The usage will be my guide. The queue is called my queue. So you can see now we get a message. We got a message one. This is a Hui test rabbit queue message. This is a Hui test rabbit queue hello message. And the second message, this is a Hui test rabbit queue hello world message. So we got two message, send queue, we get read them. And then now we go to back to the super user to check our queue. You can see our message has been read from the queue. So this is very, very simple test install Rabbit MQ server and how to write a C++ program to send and receive messages. This sending receiving can be from the same server, also from the different server, like a cluster environment. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.